Hi Divine Feminine, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Coach Nayla Latrice and I am here to give you your messages. So before we get started, I am going to give you your affirmation. Your affirmation is, why am I so worthy and deserving of everything I ask for? Why am I so worthy and deserving? of everything I ask for. You have to truly know, Divine Feminine, that you are worthy, that you are deserving, that you are lovable, and that you should be able to receive any and everything you want. Any and everything you desire, it's already yours. If you say you desire it, it's yours. If you say you want it, you got it. It's yours. But you have to know that you are worthy of it. You have to know that you are deserving of it. Okay? So let's see what the tarot has to say for my beautiful divine feminine. Ducks in a row, 33. So divine feminine, I see that whatever you're manifesting, you're preparing for. You're getting everything ready to receive some type of manifestation. Um... I'm getting the energy that you guys are super busy or that you guys are feel like you're all over the, the place. This could be mentally. Maybe you feel like you're all over the place mentally. It looks like her hair is kind of, you know, a little wild. Like, you know, she got the duck on her head. It's kind of like you just want to breathe. It feels like you just you want to break or something. Maybe you want to break from your children here. But I see you, you you pushing through. I see you, you know, taking a breather or taking a break if you need and you coming right back to it. I'm getting re divine feminine. You're very, very resilient. You're a very resilient person. Okay, you're not letting anything stop you. You, you, you're realizing, you're coming to realizing that distractions are a part of life or frustrations are a part of life, but it doesn't mean that you're meant to stop. You have to keep going no matter what. You're made for this. You got the smarts for this. It's like you're very smart. You're very intellectual. You can figure this out. You have it figured out. You, it's like you're like, okay, the duck is up here. I'm going to take this duck. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put these two on this shelf. I'm going to put this one down here. It's like you're great at organizing. You're organizing the chaos in your life is what I'm picking up on to help you to prepare for whatever it is that you desire to manifest. Yeah, you ha you, you you are your own support system or you have a support system uh, that is helping you. I realize not everyone has a support system, but I feel like you are supporting, you're either your own support system at this time, your ancestors are always supporting you, okay? It's like even when you don't realize it, you have hands that are uh, that are always helping you here. Or either you're coming into to a group. I'm getting it's time for you to join a group. Okay. Join a community. Maybe my community is the is a community that you have joined in on. Yeah, give it a whirl. You need to give something a chance. Give yourself a chance. Okay. You got this. Okay. Pull what I say? Pull yourself together. And look, manifest. It's time to manifest whatever it is that you desire. And I'm getting the energy to put it like this. We have 33, 44, and then 41 is what we see here. So whatever you're doing, you need to pull your heart together. That way you're able to manifest, okay? Okay. I had to do it that way to realize, and that could be what you're doing. You you could be, you know, putting these two on this shelf and realize, oh no, these are too big for this shelf. I got to put them over here. The only way to know is to try it. And if it doesn't feel right, rearrange it, make it fit. You get what I'm saying? But things are definitely in order. You are a master manifester. You know how to manifest. We all know how to manifest. It's getting in control of our manifestations. 
And you do that by controlling your thoughts, by getting out the matrix. I've put up some manifestation videos. You guys can go and watch those to help you on your manifesting journey. You have to remember, you are the queen. You are the goddess. You see she has her crown on. Crown on. Don't let nothing take your crown off. It's like you're the mama type of energy. Whether you're a mother or not, you get what I'm saying? It's like you're you're the one that's in charge. Get in charge of your emotions. Get in control of your emotions, of your heart space. Mm-hmm. Some of you could be feeling sad, feeling down, feeling blue. I'm hearing it's the final act. Prepare for, for curtains. It's like it's time to take your bow. So it's like it's almost like you're you're behind stage scrambling or something like that. Some of you guys could be preparing like for a, a fashion show or something as well. Or you guys could be in a fashion show or some type of production. And it's kind of like it's time for the final act. It's time for curtains. It's time for you to show the world what you've manifested or what you've been working on or something like that. It's time for you to put yourself out there. Get yourself together and put yourself out there. It's kind of like you're being pushed out. Manifest your what you desire. Manifest your miracles. It's up to you to manifest it. Mm-hmm. Let's get one more. Again, give it a whirl. Let's get one more. I t I'm trying to tell you, you're, I, you're sitting eye to eye with what it is that you desire. But you got to pull yourself together for it. You have to make sure when, when we're manifesting, you have to make sure that you are in the right emotional space. You have to make sure that you are that vibrational match. Look, third eye, open up your, your mind's eye. Visualize what it is that you desire. Visualize what you want. See what you want in your mind. Before the house you live in right now, before it was created, it was in somebody's mind. They had to build it. You get what I'm saying? The clothes you're wearing, somebody had to, to, to see it in their mind first. The car that you're driving, somebody had to see it in their mind. The buildings that you pass, going to work or going wherever, somebody had to see it in their mind. What do you see in your mind, Divine Feminine? What do you see in your mind? What are you manifesting? Are you manifesting things that you don't desire? Because manifestation doesn't stop. Again, give something a world. Give something. Bet on yourself. It's going to turn out better than what you expected. That's another affirmation down below. Why does everything always turn out better than what I expected? Why does everything always turn out better than what I expected to? Because the way that we see it in our mind's eye, the way it actually manifests in the physical, when we are actually walking in the physical of it, of course it's way better. And we're actually experiencing it. It's all holographic, but those are going to have to be the manifestation videos that I do. But you guys may hear a lot of repetitive information when it comes to manifestation because that's what it is. Just like in school, you're learning over and over again the same thing so you can get the concepts. So you can graduate and move on. But you're coming eye to eye with your manifestations. You're coming eye to eye. You're waking up to your true potential. You're waking up to who you truly are. How do you view yourself? What are your self-concepts like? Again, something else I was mentioning in the manifestation videos. Go check them all out. Because we're here to manifest divine feminine. I'm here and we ain't here to pussyfoot around. We're here to take control of our lives, pull ourselves together, wake up to the BS of what we have been manifesting, and throw out what we don't want and start manifesting those things that we do desire. Hello. You are in charge of your manifestations. So what are you manifesting at this time? 
if it, I don't care what your circumstances are, you can manifest something better. You can manifest the support that you desire. You have to be the one to get out of your own way of what you desire to manifest. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Baby, do you not see this? <laughs> Divine Feminine, I'm trying to tell you, you glowing up. Take a day to spoil yourself. If it makes you beautiful, then do it. It's time to glow up, Divine Feminine. I, I don't know what you're focused on manifesting, but you really need to focus on manifesting that and becoming the version of yourself that has that desire. So you can actually taste it, touch it, smell it, taste it, experience it in your real 3D world. But you have to go into your 4D, your imagination to manifest it. Music. Wow. Some of you guys are musicians here, okay? You guys have been getting your ducks in a row and pulling yourself together. Didn't I say the final the final act? Okay, or you know, you guys have been behind the scenes. You guys have been behind the scenes with whatever you're doing, whether it's fashion or whatever. You've been working on, I'm telling you, something is about to blow up. Something is about to explode for you is what I'm picking up here. Many of you guys, it's been music. You guys are musicians. You guys are artists. And you're glowing up. It's like you're getting ready. You're putting on your makeup. You're putting on your earrings. You're getting ready to be put on camera. I, just me being a Virgo, it's like they could have did a little bit better job right there. You know what I mean? They could have hid that a little bit better, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, music has been what you guys have been working on in the background or either music is very helpful to you while you have been working on whatever you're working on. I'm hearing like nails. You guys could be in the beauty industry as well. You help people glow up. It says music can heal wounds that medicine cannot touch. Mm. Whatever you're doing, you're really exploding here. You have a lot of people that desire you and want to be in your energy with what it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Read, okay? It's like you guys could be reading more information or learning more information about... Y'all cars is just coming out. Yeah, you living your dreams. You out here living your dreams, Divine Feminine. Open up. You're being asked to open your heart to another, to let down your walls and trust that they want what's best for you. Your life will open up in wonderful ways once you decide to open up. So your glow up is attracting a lot of attention, Divine Feminine. And there could be a special someone. Maybe you guys have been focused on manifest. So in the background, some of you guys could have just been focusing on you. Maybe you guys haven't been focusing on anything else but healing yourself and so forth, right? And it's like now you're opening up to the real version of who you are, your true self, Divine Feminine. And it has caught the attention of somebody and they are asking you, they, meaning your ancestors, spirit, okay, your spirit guides, they are asking you to open up to this person. They're also, if this isn't a specific person that you're manifesting, okay, you guys could have been getting yourself ready and saying, hey, I'm becoming the vibrational match to attract the type of relationship I desire. But it's not just romantic. I also feel this is, you know, if you're into music or into fashion, you're a part of a cohort, you're a part of a community. So you have to trust that the people that you're around for your career is the type of people that you need that is that you're meant to be around because you're in the era of living your dreams. You're in the era of living your best life. I'm living my best life. At least that's what it feel like. Yeah, you living your best life. 
and you're being asked to open up you're attracting so much attention you're attracting whatever you're doing for work it's kind of like you just over here focus on you focus on you and you don't realize like all eyes have been on you Atten people have been pe peeking on your page and so forth people have just really been uh paying attention to you they have been following up on you and like checking up on you and you may not even realize all of this. You just been so focused on you that you don't realize how many people that you're attracting. People see that you have grown up. It's kind of like if you haven't been around people, it's kind of like where is so-and-so at? Where's the divine feminine at? So they going to search for you. They going to look to see where you at. <laughs> And they like, oh, snaps. Okay, Divine Feminine has glowed up. Divine Feminine doing her thing. But you're just being asked to open up in general. You're, you're being asked to open up to your miracles. Because it's more, it's, it's more than one miracle that's here. That's why Spirit is saying, hey, you got to get your stuff together. Because, baby, what you manifesting, it's coming in. Many of you guys have truly been doing the work. And the results is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Y'all know back in the day we used to say that. The proof is in the pudding, baby. And baby, you are the pudding. You are the proof. <laughs> I'm also hearing 100 proof. I hope ain't none of y'all drinking no 100 proof. But hey, some people do. It is what it is. But we have planned your career here. So I see quarter two. So some of you guys, you guys are still, you know, gathering, you know, your business goals and everything uh, at this time. You guys can book your business coaching down below, your manifestation coaching down below, your readings, your meditation, all of that down below. Okay. But a lot of things are going to be taken off for you in the second quarter of this year. And that's completely fine. You're not in competition with anybody you're only in competition with yourself the only person you have to be better than is is the version that you was yesterday right so for some of you guys you know it's, it's like you're taking this time to really prepare and to really get all of yourself together and you guys are finishing opening up again the final act it's time for you to be on stage it's time for you to be on stage come on now some of you guys are going to be performing in the second quarter of this year. So by April and beyond, what else does this say? Activity log, improve in-app onboarding, mobile app. So you guys could be taking notes or any of the things I just said could be, you know, specific to you as well. Create milestones and have a strategy to set yourself up for success. Yeah, didn't I say you are coming eye to eye with your manifestations? And a lot of the what you have been manifesting has been focused on, has been career focused. It's 111 at this time. Actually, it's 110, but for whatever reason, I said 111. <laughs> I guess because I saw the 1 1. But whatever you're doing, you're in alignment. You're in alignment, baby. You are glowing up. And look, up, up, open up, open up, glow up. You're it's up. It's up and it's stuck. Divine feminine. Baby, this read this read is bomb. You're literally living your dreams here. Is what I see. Because you have visualized and opened up your mind. You have been visualizing what you want. You have been putting in the work. You have been planning your career. You have been figuring out who you are, what you desire, what your next steps are. And let me tell you, the work is working. I'm here to confirm for you that the work is working. This is really, really beautiful. Let's see. Let's get some tarot for y'all. Divine feminine. High priestess. Okay. You guys already know deep down this is what's going on. Okay, you guys could be a Pisces here, Divine Feminine. You guys could be connected with somebody named Brandon or James, or their initials could start with a B or a J. Some of you guys are spiritualists. You guys are spiritual teachers here. You guys are really tapped into the Akashic Records, to the Superconscious. Ooh. Do y'all see what do y'all see how all of this flips? Some type of relationship is really wanting to come through, or you're gonna be connecting with a lot of people. 
again, you're connecting with a lot of people. You have a lot of competition. A lot of people want to be competing for you or being for you. It could stress you out too because you may have a lot of choices, not just in relationships, you know, and it may just be two choices, so to speak, right? And you're like, dang, you know, I like both of them because in this era, divine feminine, you getting everything you want. You attract, you've been attracted growing up and you, you're attracting more people to you than what you actually realize is what the point. But you also may have a lot of different roads or paths to go down as well. And you may be like really stuck trying to make some type of decision. But let's go ahead and get this energy and let's see what actually comes out. Let's just get one. Let's Can we just get one? But you do have some, some relationships that are here. Yeah, people wanted to come towards you. People wanted to come at you. These cards are all which type of ways. Okay, we have the five of pentacles here. Okay, and then we have the three of cups. So I feel like the reason that you're getting your ducks in a row is because you were out in the cold. You were in this five of pentacles energy. Your money has been funny. People didn't abandon you. People left you out in the cold. People left you down when it was you was in the, the worst season of your life. The worst quarters of your life. You didn't have nothing to your name. Everything was taken away from you. The manifestation journey that you were on, you were on the down drought. But guess what? Just because things are in the down cycle don't mean that doesn't have to come back up. It always has to come back up. And when you're doing the work, you're going to see the changes. Now, if you ain't been doing the work, then you can't expect it to flow to you if you ain't been doing the work. And I'm talking about people that's been in there like for some months and years. When I say months, I'm talking about six months plus. Because it, 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 it's, it takes, it's for some, it can take some years to really, you know, manifest them, their way out of all of the trauma and all of the hurt and to really level themselves up. To be the vibrational match to what they desire. You always are going to get what you desire as long as you are doing the work to become a match to that. And for some, it takes longer than others. So yeah, you've been without your manifestations. But it doesn't mean it's not coming. It doesn't mean you're not clearly you getting it because you're about to be celebrating. You also could have had to leave a lot of people out in the cold. When it comes to your career or music or whatever you're doing as well, you could have left some people out because maybe they just wasn't, it wasn't a good match for you or something like that. But you will be connecting with people who are a good match. It doesn't matter what your career field is. What else is here? Let's see what else is here. Let's get another one. Whoop. Look at all these cards that want to come out. Being very strategic the way you move now because you ain't the same person that you used to be. How you moving forward, okay? What are your beliefs? Switching up your belief systems. That helped you to glow up. But you can't move the same way you move. You don't think the same way you think. You're on a different path than where you left other people at or where other people last saw you. Can we just get one, please? Thank you. There we go. <laughs> you being recognized for your glow up, baby. It could be a king of cups specifically that sees you as well. A Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. But all I see is that you glowing up, baby. Mm-hmm. People see you. You coming out with the victory. You coming out with the win. You're coming out on top. Let's say if you are in some type of fashion competition, modeling competition, music competition, there is no competition. You already won it. It's yours. I'm also hearing degree. You could be getting a degree as well. I want to say it was earlier in this, in this read. I saw a read. Yeah, you're getting justice. You could be a Libra here. What else is here? I'm hearing uh, you're doing fantastic or okay, fantastic. Okay. Look, that's stressed out. That's stressed out. <laughs> Again, this nine of uh, 
this nine of swords here. So it's, it's kind of like you could be have a fear that you're not going to manifest. Don't have a fear that you're not going to manifest or you're going to keep manifesting a fear. You have to learn to open up. You could be afraid to open up here as well. Mm hmm. You could be afraid that if you open up your heart that and it's like that. Technically, that if you have that fear, you're not ready to open up your heart then. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you, you have a little bit more work to do, okay? I'm here to really help you heal and do the work. So you got to take into consideration what I'm saying. This is going to be for some people, not all people. But anything can switch just like that. Once you become aware, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And then, boom, new reality just like that, same day. You get what I'm saying? Once you really are aware of this. But things are turning in your favor. Sagittarius energy. What is this nine of swords? What has the divine feminine in this nine of swords energy? I like to make the reads about you all. Okay. Two wants to come out for this. The truth. Yeah. Something about the truth. or some type of communication. This could be somebody around you as well. That's in this energy. Because they missed you, they missed your glow up. But that I'm not really getting that with this nine of swords on this open up and manifesting your miracle. It's more so you being afraid to open up here. Alright, what's this one more? This last one. I'm also getting pay attention to your thoughts. What are you thinking? What do you think? If you're if you are having restless nights, when you wake up, like today I woke up at 444. I always that's kind of like almost my normal time. Not necessarily 444, but it, I'm, I always get woken up in the wee hours, you know. Um, because the ancestors be talking to me. I get a lot of downloads, you guys. Um and I, I start my day early as well, you know. Um, but at the same time, it's like when you are, if you are waking up in the middle of the night because, and it's abnormal for you, let me put it that way, and it's abnormal for you, it's not normal for you to be waking up in the middle of the night, what are you waking up thinking about? What was, What did your dream just tell you or what's on your mind? Or you have to go deep and say, oh, something's disturbing your sleep here. Something has you in this energy. So pay attention. All right, let's get one more. And I'm going to close this out. Oh, yeah, for sure. We way too long. Oh, 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 oh. King of Cups. You, again, you've been working on your career in the background. With this King of Cups, you've been working silently. You haven't been sharing your emotions about how you feel. There could be a King of Cups that's in your energy as well. That has something to do with your career. That's not going to be for everybody. What is this King of Cups over here? Why is the King of Cups here? Hmm. You're putting the end, again, you're putting an end. So I have two things that are, that's coming out. You're putting, a, so I have a few things. So somebody's going to, so somebody could be connected to you and they see you, they see you working, okay? And they've been, you know, again, like I said, you have some people that's been looking you up and, you know, seeing what, what you've been doing and all of this other stuff. They put an end to their silence because they realize there's a lot of competition and they want to go for theirs. So you guys could have some people that are approaching you. Sorry, that wasn't in the camera frame. Okay. This could be somebody that's close to home or close to where you live or somebody that wants to start a family with you. Okay. But I'm also getting, you're coming out and sharing with people who you are and what you do. There could be a lot of competition in your field, but it's like what, by you coming out, you're shutting out. Again, there is no competition. You're shutting out the competition is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, we have the nine and the ten of swords here. You have a lot of emotional pain. 
is what I'm picking up on as well that you had to get through, that you had to work through. And I feel like you 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 use your your pain to fuel your career. Or whatever you do for your career is based upon the your life experiences and what you've gone through is what I'm picking up on here, okay? We're going to get some final messages. Yeah, I feel this one. I had to put my hands on the decks to see which one I was feeling. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my... So you really feeling yourself at this time, Divine Feminine, as you should. Diamonds shine bright like a diamond. Yeah, whatever you do, you make it look easy. Okay, you could be getting ready to travel as well. Some of you guys could actually be flight attendants. Or you guys are um, applying to be a flight attendant or something like that. Or that's a suggestion. <laughs> that's not going to be for everybody, of course. You have a lot of fans, again, with whatever you do for work. I'm also hearing perfume. Some of you guys could create your own perfume or that's something you guys want to do. Or either it's something about the way you smell or your perfume. People love the way you smell. People love your perfume. Y'all comment down below your favorite perfume. What perfume do y'all wear? Somebody says, I ain't going no damn where. It's like, that's not their choice to make. I'm hearing snooze, you lose. Okay, one week to one month, something could be happening, especially when it comes to your money and your finances here. Yeah, your money is glowing up. You could be revealing yourself within the next week to month. Again, going into the second quarter. That's February, March. So still kind of the end of first quarter, but still. But yeah, you, you're going to be revealing yourself is what I'm picking up on. Or you're going to be receiving some type of money that's also helping you to glow up. Look at what wants to come out. I ain't going no damn where. Make it rain. This could be you. Ooh, your manifestations are saying, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Your manifestations are saying, I ain't going nowhere. You're going to get what you asked for. Possibly within a week to a month. That's not for everybody now. This is general. Book your personals down below. Within one week to one month, you're going to see how things are glowing up. You're going to see how your work is, has been paying off. You guys could be a notary public or that's something that you guys could go for as well. A, a position that you guys could go for. Get, you know, get your license for that. Okay. Or something could require your signature or a notary public. All right, but your manifestations are saying, hey, you don't have to stress out or work. Ah, this person saying they ain't going nowhere. The people that you that are coming into your life, thank you, spirit. The people that you can trust coming into your life, you don't have to stress out because they ain't going nowhere. They're here for good. They're here for life. Thank you, spirit. These people are solid. They're meant to be in your life. God heard your prayers. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Again, a lot of travel for somebody. You got this. You could be receiving something in the mail. Again, look, grad, the graduate. Didn't I say I heard something about you being in school or you graduating here? Again, you could be in your final classes, the final act. Remember? Let's get one more out so we can close this out because this is way longer than what I wanted it to be. Let's get one more. You got abundance coming because you the goat. I'm paying for any and everything you want. Yeah, this is the universe saying, I got you. I got you. Whatever you want, it's, it's yours. You come in eye to eye with your manifestation. You, your career... Is giving you some type of abundance. Whatever you do for your career, whatever you do for work, it's time to amp that thing up. 
I don't know if you guys are entrepreneurs. I don't know if you guys are in the corporate field, but whatever you guys do, it's time to get to the bag. It's time to get your money. Scared money don't make money. I'm paying for any and everything you want. So your career is going to pay for your lifestyle. Your career is going to fund your lifestyle. This could also be a person that's saying this as well. Your abundance includes your career, but it also includes these people. It also includes your romantic partner. It includes everything. You need to get grounded. Okay, I am. I was going to say licensed, but I'm a certified <laughs> uh Reiki practitioner. So if you guys are interested in getting distant Reiki, you guys can book that on my website. Okay. But again, you are the goat. You could be a Capricorn here. Somebody says I'm fighting for this connection. Yeah. You ain't got nothing to stress about because somebody wants this connection with you. Yeah. You're somebody's good luck charm or you're a good luck charm in general, the type of energy that you put out divine feminine. So these are your messages. Thank you guys so much for tapping into my energy. Dang, that just dropped. Okay, you about to drop the mic or something like that. But I saw, I see this just sitting here. So yeah, definitely um, a lot of abundance here. A lot of luxurious energy for those that it applies to, okay? Uh, but these are your messages. Thank you guys so much for tapping in. You guys can book your meditation, your manifestation coaching, and your readings down below in the description bar. You guys can give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one. I am Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.